Dit is Papa Alpha 0, Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 14 augustus 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. As always on Sundays and the Monday morning repeat, our bulletin is in English. Today we have Morse code and an SSTV image in PD90. The picture is an own picture I showed today with the small MTEG ZM2 QRP antenna tuner for all bands. We start now with the DX News. Now the DX News, compiled from 425DX News and other sources. Nicola, Italy Uniform 7 Golf Sierra November, is on the air as Zulu Alpha 3 Italy Uniform 7 Golf Sierra November until the 23rd of August. Activity is holiday style on the 10 to 40 meter bands using SSB and various digital modes. QSL direct to his home call sign. A group of US and Canadian operators will use Charlie Yankee 9 Charlie from St. Paul Island, November Alpha 094 is the iota for that one, and that's from the 19th to the 28th of August. Operation will be on all bands from 6 to 160 metres using CW, SSB and RTTY. QSL via club log, OQRS or directly to Whiskey Alpha 4, Delta Alpha November. A group of operators will be using Radio Zero Foxtrot from Shikotan Island, Iota Alpha Sierra 062, until the 17th of August. Activity is on the HF bands with two stations. QSL via Romeo 6 Mike Golf. Four German amateurs will use the call sign Oscar Juliet Zero Delta X-Ray from Market Reef until the 16th of August. They'll be on the 10 to 160 meter bands using CW and SSB. QSL manager Delta Lima 3 Delta X-Ray X-Ray. Operators Alex Uniform X-Ray 0 Lima Lima and Alex Uniform Tango 5 Uniform Yankee will be operating as 5 Hotel 1 Zulu Zulu from Zanzibar Island, IOTA Alpha Foxtrot 032 until the 22nd of August. Activity will be with two stations on the HF bands using CW, SSB and various digital modes, QSL via Mike Zero Uniform Romeo X-Ray. Reg Golf 8 Victor Hotel India remains active maritime mobile in the North Sea on 2 metres holiday style until the 20th of August. Kilo Mike 4 Delta Alpha Yankee and Lima Zulu 4 Alpha X-Ray will be active from Vietnam until August 17 as 3 Whiskey 4 Delta Alpha Yankee and 3 Whiskey 4 X-Ray X-Ray. They will be operating on HF bands including activity in WAE CW contest. Fox 6 Charlie Tango Whiskey will be active again from Cambodia until August 19 as X-Ray Uniform 7 Alpha Echo X-Ray. He will be working on HF bands. Golf Zero Uniform Romeo Romeo will be active from Guernsey Island in CQWWDX RTTY contest September 24 and 25 as Golf Uniform Zero Uniform Romeo Romeo. He will be operating 80 to 10 meters. Juliet Alpha 1 X-Ray Golf India will be active from Maldives Islands in October 2016 as 8 Quebec 7 X-Ray Golf. He will be operating on HF bands. Victor Echo 7 Alpha Charlie November will be active from Kariaku Island November 30 until December 8 as Juliet 3 stroke Victor Echo 7 Alpha Charlie November. And VA7ACN will also be active from Grand Turk Island December 10 until December 19 as Victor Papa 5 stroke Victor Echo 7 Alpha Charlie November. Both times he will be operating HF bands, CW and SSB. Ready amateurs from Dominican Republic will be active from Beata Island January 25 until February 1st 2017. They will be operating on HF bands. From Australia, this is VK1WIA. Spy vs. Spy, ham radio call book in 1968 spy story. In 1968, newspapers reported the potential threat to UK national security posed by the amateur radio call book following the conviction of Douglas Britton, G3KFL. On November 13, 1968, the Nashua Telegraph newspaper ran a story sourced from the Times of London which expressed concern that the amateur call book listed hundreds of service personnel with access to secret information. Concern was expressed at the time that the Soviets could use this information to contact potential sources of classified information. The story was triggered by the conviction of Douglas Britton, G3KFL, described as a Royal Air Force wireless operator under the Official Secrets Act. Britton was reportedly approached through amateur radio. 
The newspaper says a man who said he was a Russian ham operator went up to him in the Science Museum in Kensington in 1962 and addressed him by his call sign, G3KFL. Over 5,000 scouts for Jamboree on the air. More than 5,000 scouts in the state of Sabah in Malaysia are expected to take part in the international 59th Jamboree on the Air, Jota, and the 20th Jamboree on the Internet, Joti, from October the 14th to 16th. Sabah was selected as the nation's host for the event, which gathers scouts around the world to communicate through amateur radio and the Internet. About 10 stations will be open throughout the state during the event. There are many scouts who have amateur radio licenses. The Jota program provides an opportunity for scouts to interact through amateur radio where their first interactions through the radios will lead to continuous friendship via email or the internet. Made for each other. We end this week's international news with a story from Amateur Radio Newsline. It's a tale of a magazine notice that led to a happy marriage with the help of an amateur in Georgia. Stephen? No, this isn't the story of two people who went out on a date and found romance. It's about the happy marriage between one museum and a vintage Morris code generating machine it had been wanting for about a decade. Last year, the Chatham Marconi Maritime Center in Massachusetts placed a notice in the ARRL's QST magazine saying it was looking for something called a Creed Keer to add to its collection. The keyer generates one-way Morse code messages to ships at sea at speeds as fast as 100 words per minute using tapes with holes punched ahead of time, player piano style, by another machine. The museum had been searching for the perfect match for its collection for 10 years, and Gene Greniker, K4MOG, of Powder Springs, Georgia, proved to be the ultimate matchmaker. The ham radio operator had the machine, which he and a friend had found and bought from a small RCA wireless station in Lantana, Florida. After some fundraising on behalf of the museum, the Creed machine was sold, shipped, and en route to its new home in Massachusetts. The Maritimes president, Dick Kraser, said the next step is to pair the machine with another mate, a translator that converts the Creed machine output into dots and dashes that museum visitors will be able to here. A vintage translator is currently undergoing restoration, and once that's done, the two are expected to live happily ever after. From Australia, this is VK1WIA and the weekly WIA amateur radio news service on RF, internet streaming and text at wia.org.au. Deze middags zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf s ochtends herhaald. W-A-P-G.
Airline Pilot Guy. The pilot reported the close encounter, but officers were unable to find the device or anyone on the ground. Yeah, they never do. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, we have this uh, another incident of a near miss with a drone. And then uh, let's see, who was it? Steve, Captain Steve sent in some feedback regarding this terminology near miss. This is Captain Steve from Acme Jr. I've got a, uh, a point to bring up about the term near miss and how it pertains to a close encounter with another aircraft. George Carlin points out in a skit a few years ago that a near miss is actually a hit. Boom. Oh, look, they nearly missed. (laughs) (laughs) We've taken it and just done all kinds of terrible things to it. I have. I'm not going to apologize. I have, you know, every time you hear that term, you go, no, it's really not a near miss. It is really a near hit. Yes. But for some reason, it's just kind of. But entered, everyone says near miss. Entered and you know our what vocabulary. It, you, know what you mean by it. Yeah, it's, it's just become the phrase to use. <laughs>